Oh my gosh. The next generation of Star Trek. Although this is the one we started with, so for us it's the first generation. <laughs> what came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh, in this the case, egg. the egg. <laughs> Probably the that egg. That was the next generation from the chicken <laughs> that was the TOS. We are the it, egg. It, it had to have been the egg because the egg came, the egg bore a freak of nature and that's what created the chicken. You know, hmm. it's like, you know, it's like it was just I, some other thing that laid the egg and it wasn't a chicken yet. The next thing was a chicken. They were like, oh shit, that's a chicken that came out of that egg, you know? So I guess that makes sense. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Newbie Star Trek. I'm Marvin. I'm Marvin. I'm Dan. Uh, <laughs> My name's and, Ricardo, uh, and I like party. It's true. I'm not wearing any pants. Yeah, yeah, we need to be reminded every so often that Marvin doesn't wear pants. <laughs> and Ricardo I mean, likes that to party. Ricardo likes to party. <laughs> uh, to be frank, most of the Ricardo time- Ricardo is one of the original Venga boys, after all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, what is fair. macaroni in a pot? <laughs> 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 that's, just, that's just out of left field. You're just bringing that up again. Yeah. Well, I like to party. <laughs> mm. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. You're just stirring all of, all of it into a macaroni pot. That's yeah, what you're doing. dude. That's what you're doing. It's getting it's, nice. It's, I'm, I'm a little loopy. Yeah. Getting the nice and nice and in there, you know. Oh, Marvin. <laughs> you sick puppy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I like where this is going already. No, no, no. <laughs> you stay. You stay and you watch, god damn it. Or yeah. listen. Yeah. Stay and listen. <laughs> uh, welcome to Newbie Star Trek. The, the point of the podcast is that Ricardo has not seen any episodes of Star Trek outside of what we've already seen in the podcast. So we are going through all of the Star Trek episodes with him. Uh, currently, TNG, um, which is you know, I think the good one. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we just started a huge flame war there. Uh <laughs> <laughs> and I'm totally like unqualified to say that because I haven't even seen any episodes okay. of the other okay. series. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Having okay, I have seen all of TNG, all of DS9 most of Voyager and half of Enterprise. We're not counting the fucking CBS All Access ones because fuck those. Uh, right. But I haven't seen any TOS mm. or very little of TOS. I've seen like two episodes. Um, I don't know and then, if many people to hold up TOS as the best one, though. A lot of people do. Like, a lot of people say TOS is like the one to watch. Yeah, but which how I old find are they? They're old. <laughs> Fine then. They're in like their forties, and like I, it's whatever. Boom I, boys. I I find that a little hard to believe sometimes. Seeing of what I've seen, um, granted, okay, so the you know the Gorn episode mm -hmm. where he's fighting the Gorn and it's like hilarious because he throws a rock really slowly and it's like a Gorn. really slow. Oh, is yeah, it, is it, no, this is in the in TOS, uh, the original series. Uh, where, um, yeah, like so, like Captain Picard Kirk fights a lizard man. Oh, yeah, I said Picard. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Kirk is like thrown onto a planet and <laughs> just he has thrown to, onto it. <laughs> yeah, he's thrown there, uh, and he has to fight this lizard monster called the Gorn, right? <laughs> um, and then he's like, "Why? Are you, like he, they were they were put there by some entity that wants them to fight, right? And then like, but but before that, Kirk and the Gorn race were like." in conflict and then they were like what's going on why are we fighting and then the gorn is like it's because you invaded our territory we were only responding so it's like Picard, uh, kirk is like this is a huge misunderstanding but they still have to fight and then kirk uh, gets the upper hand because he's a huge manly man and then uh he's about to kill the gorn and then he goes no no i won't do it because because he, he's like defying this entity that's forcing them to fight so it's the like Beyonder. oh okay yeah so we got a we got a good uh good you know character moment here but th th i still find it hard to believe the original show is really that amazing <laughs> well because because i don't know like i don't know if like i like i don't think anyone speaks broke about new ground 
that's literally true that's true like for, for the time that that show is pretty groundbreaking yeah um but uh i mean yeah. props to that props to that i yeah i, I mean like it's hilarious though you look at you watch interviews with gene roddenberry and he's like yeah i was the first show to have a black in it you know <laughs> so so he's, he's 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 you're like oh this isn't great uh, so it's like it's sort of progressive baby steps <laughs> the babiest of steps great great affection i have for the asians yeah <laughs> you know so they're very smart people uh, it's it's weird but Anyway, the episode we watched this week uh, was too short a season. That episode was released in February eighth of nineteen eighty eight. Were was that episode the sh- like the showrunners like being like, "Hey, what gives? This order is so small." Oh, <laughs> this season uh, is too short. I get it. I get it. I get it. This season's too long sometimes, but then short times. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, a phaser. That means oh, history God. for some reason on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I couldn't think of a good sound effect. I want it I want I want it to, okay. Just to behind the curtain slightly. Behind the curtain slightly. I was okay. trying to I was trying to Frankenbite because there is an ensign in an episode named Dan. So I wanted I wanted to have a line where Riker says, Dan, please tell us what happened or something like that. Uh-huh. The Franken bites just didn't go together. Like the quality of the sound is just too different between seasons. So. Oh, okay, <laughs> fair enough. And so. so this is like the the weird leftover from the rewritten script that yeah, is I just plaguing gave up. season one of TNG. Yeah, I just gave up and just threw it. <laughs> I spent like three hours trying to make it work, <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck it, this isn't gonna work." So. Uh. That's good. Dan, well, anyway. tell me what happened. <laughs> all right, all right. The, this, the, the original air date was uh, February 8th, and uh, the day before, on the 7th, Mike Tyson married a model actress named Robin Givens, who would not stay married to him for more than a year. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes total sense. Uh, you don't want to be in a house with Mike Tyson for very long. <laughs> you don't want to be in a house. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's probably dangerous. No, it's true. It's absolutely <laughs> true. I mean, I, I'll withstand a couple of minutes in a house with Mike Tyson. Yeah, but I'd be scared, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. He's mellowed out, though. You should hear him yeah. sing uh, The Girl from Ipanema. It's um, it's amazing. Find it on <laughs> no, YouTube, no. everybody. <laughs> no. Um, no. It exists. No. <laughs> for real. Just find it. It's great. Um, all right. Next up. On the 11th of February that year, uh, well, I've talked a little bit about their quest to find the new Supreme Court nominee, and Mm -hmm. uh, it was Anthony Kennedy, and Mm -hmm. he was appointed on February 11th. So, yeah, milestone for the country at that point. Finally, Anthony Michael Michael Hall Kennedy? (laughs) Uh, Yes. (laughs) Got him. That guy. Uh, The dead zone. (laughs) Okay, for some reason, that's the role I think of him immediately. Anthony Michael Hall. The dead zone. I don't know why. I don't go to the breakfast club. I don't go to this other shit. I go to the dead zone. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) I don't know why. Who are you, dude? I don't know. I'm a a fucked up person. That's who I am. Well, are we all? And, uh... (laughs) Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, the third Dragon Quest game uh, developed by Chunsoft uh, before they merged oh. with Spike and published by Enix before they merged with Squaresoft, released in Japan on February 10th. And a- at the time, th- that was still when they were being ported over here as Dragon Warrior. And it also took oh. several years for it to happen. Wait, so, so it, it, it was would be several years before we saw this game on the sh- on North American shores. So it was originally called Dragon Warrior, not Dragon Quest. In America, it was always Dragon Quest in Japan, but oh, okay. at first okay. it was Dragon Warrior over here. Oh, Americans were like, you know, Quest isn't like angry Quest, enough. Yeah, Quest yeah, isn't have... violent enough. We need a warrior. <laughs> What's a hot quest, right now? A quest Conan? could be peaceful, you know. We need we need to make sure this is this is hey you know violent Superman four flopped like an ass. <laughs> we Superman can't name it five the quest for violence. <laughs> no, the warrior of violence. <laughs> Leave that Q word out of here. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. The warrior for peace <laughs> or the warrior for war. <laughs> <laughs> the warrior of war why is that not a video game already <laughs> that could easily be 
like a canon film, The Warrior <laughs> War. <laughs> well, War well, Warrior. Well, well, uh, <laughs> Superman, 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 The Quest for Peace was it a is canon a, film. It, it is a canon film, yes. Oh, yeah. nice. no one wanted to make it, yeah. yeah. Right, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, they at least, dist- did they produce it? I thought they, yeah, they, oh, they, they were produced- involved. Yeah. It's why it looks like such crap. Like, <laughs> Hey man, uh, Reeve is there. That's all you need. I mean, that's true. I mean, that's that's that he was all you needed for the draw. I mean, they tried to. Um, oh my god, the 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 comedian, what's his, uh, Richard Pryor. They were like, oh, maybe you know, it'll be a bump if Richard Pryor comes in for number three. And they're like, oh, they, be- they didn't make a difference. Just throwing Reeves in there. He's he's fine. <laughs> I himself. can't believe he was a computer hacker. <laughs> dude, dude, he had he had my dream. Superman he, three was the best. Richard Pryor fulfilled my dream of creating the strongest computer in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He did. <laughs> oh, that movie is so bad. <laughs> no, it's great. Remember, remember when Superman went evil and he grew out his stubble and, oh, yeah. and right the Walker? leaning tower of pizza. Because yeah, I, yeah. He's evil now. Yeah. Remember? Oh, uh, that was fun. That's fun though. Yeah. yeah. That's like it's that's like amazing. Schlock, stupid. Yeah. 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 Oh man. That's they don't sil- make superhero Silver movie. Age yeah. goofiness. I love yeah. it. Why won't why can't we get a modern Silver Age movie? Like a movie, yeah. It's hard to get a damn movie about it. The best I mean the they had most a, recent- you know, you know, Brave and the Bull, right? Yeah, Which is that's like, the most recent know. instance of the Silver Age being celebrated, like well, I'd say. Mm. Um, but I damn, just, I want a just, movie of that, please. Americans are just too cowardly to accept a movie. That's that's. I think like movie wise, closest we got was Shazam. I guess so, huh? It's I haven't seen Shazam, close. but it it was yeah. I mean, it was it definitely had a more playful tone from the look of it. Yeah, like the like the climax of the movie is a bunch of kids turned to superheroes, right? That's very Silver Agey. Oh, it's that's just, nice. But like, but the cool. t- just just the tone of the movie isn't like fully silver age it's just like here's some fun times you know yeah. it's not Lois like lane isn't nonsense. trying to trick superman into marrying her yeah there's no there's no tawny <laughs> tiger in you know tawny the no, tiger mr tawny no Why only as it's stuffed animal watch shazam then <laughs> god they try they tried but dc is like no it's got zach schneider wants it dark he uh, wants you to not be able to see what's going on <laughs> in the movie I'm hearing conflicting uh, reports on that. One one day I hear Zack Snyder will not be involved with further DC projects. And then second, the end of the Justice League HBO Max Zack Snyder cut leaves things open for sequels. Well, you know why? It's because there's he'll be involved in one split off version yeah, of, yeah. <laughs> of that DC universe. Stop and the other it. split. <laughs> well, they're already talking about possibly. So the rumor is that the, it, like the, the news of Michael Keaton joining the 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 dc universe it mm-hmm. is so like like the the early buzz is so big that they're mm-hmm. gonna give him his own franchise back Ugh. at but, but it's okay but but, but i but, think is but i think as as batman beyond is what see, they're thinking okay here's the thing batman beyond is sick it's a very good show yes, but it it's a show that's good despite what it is <laughs> it's like it 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 shouldn't have worked it's so edgelord that it should be cringy to watch but it's saved by like really good writing and really good storytelling and it's i like don't it, know it, if a movie version will be able to do that correctly yeah you know i'm willing to know. let them have a crack at it yeah i am too i am too i do like the i do really like the idea of let's just finally like get like a different batman idea in there like i'm kind of yeah, tired just try of going... something else like this would yeah, be the into the spider doing... verse of yeah. batman's basically yeah if you're gonna keep doing batman like let's do a different batman altogether so i i do like that idea uh but and, and like don't just go like oh let's just make him dark and darker and darker and like it's kind of boring honestly if it's that's the only thing you have Cut going to on to batman it. beyond's all black suit <laughs> Even this, even the red uh, bat logo is still black. Well, you know it'll be like crimson or some shit. Yeah, <laughs> crimson. Uh, anyway. Oh yeah, Star Trek. Yeah, Star Trek. Uh, too short a season. This is a really weird episode. I'd forgotten what it was like when I watched it, <laughs> and we were, I was like, "What the? F- I forgot this is what was happening." <laughs> uh, but interesting. Uh, Ricardo, having seen it, could you please take us on a journey? I did not see it. 
<laughs> no, oh. I saw, I saw it. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> All right, podcast over. Um, Goodbye, everyone. Um, so this episode, this, it's funny because there's a lot of things that it reminds me of happening currently, you know, like old men who fucking just refuse to die. Uh, <laughs> old white men in particular. Um, yeah, who have like problematic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, and it's just not like, I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm sorry to go on this weird tangent before we get into no, this please, episode, but like please. it's just like i was just thinking about that while i was watching the episode like that like there's people i don't know what what it is in people i'm i'm gonna say it old white politicians <laughs> that they just refuse to just go away like it's like you you there's nothing more you contribute it, you've gone you you've passed your prime do you know what i mean like you're well it's come and gone you don't know you don't know what the pulse of the people are you've lived in this bubble too long get the fuck yeah. out and well, I have okay. So that's I have a naive question to ask. So the so I always wondered, you know, why do you want to be this type of person, right? Like, yeah. why do they why do they turn out like power this? narcissism? It's not just power. It's that like there's a great book called The Dictator's Handbook, mm-hmm. and it basically it's not, says it a porno. <laughs> it's, it's a great a title book. for a porno. It's a book. God, it, it's erotic <laughs> tales. Called the Dictator's Bible, and it's got a dick on the cover, <laughs> and a tater. Yeah, uh, <laughs> go on. Sorry. And then uh, there's basically in in human history so far, we're so dumb that there's only two so far two stable types of society: one that's a full dictatorship, and one that is a democracy. And dictators dictatorships, despite being horrible for the people, work because the whole point of being a dictator is is to stay in power there's no other reason yeah. like everything they do like if you have people always go if i had that much power why wouldn't i go around and like start solving societal issues right yeah because that actively undermines your ability to stay in power as a dictator yeah you know because yeah. your dict your power as a dictator is ultimately completely controlled by money so you have to spend all of your money placating like what they call the keys to power, which is like uh, key players in politics. Like Mitch McConnell is like a key to power, you know? So lots of money goes to him to placate him, stuff like that, right? So in democracy, uh, even though it seems like altruistic, it's still about staying in power. It just happens to be that in a democracy, the ability ability to stay in power aligns with having a healthy society. A healthy society can vote correctly, it can make informed decisions about people voting, et cetera. Yeah. And it makes people more productive, which is in a in a democracy useful. Now, we don't live in a democracy in America. <laughs> we live in some sort of representative plutocracy. It's really odd. Yeah. And the problem is that the altruistic ideals of a pure democracy don't align with what's going on, especially on the cons- uh, the conservative side of politics, right? Like conservative politics directly align with we don't want you to be educated because if you're educated, why would you keep voting for us? Right. Yeah. So it it's why things are a bit out of control. And it's why like uh, this is all of this is to say uh, the reason why old white men want to stay in power <laughs> is because they have spent their entire lives in that mode. They don't know how to turn it off. Yeah. And they're constantly like. This is the only thing that's been safe for me. I have to stay in power. I got to keep Here, doing this. Here's my here's my my answer to that. You can't be an airline pilot past, past the age of sixty five because yeah. you're you could endanger however Absolutely. many x amount of passengers on the ship on the ship, sorry and not on the ship on the plane. Now multiply that by a whole nation. They should be like <laughs> once you get to sixty five, we're gonna kick you out. We're gonna get the fuck, fuck out of here. Get yeah, the fuck out of exactly. Here. But yeah. I mean, and I think sixty five is too old. But whatever. And the other thing I was thinking about during wa- watching this is about like so like I'm really into boxing, and <laughs> this weekend, this weekend I just <laughs> is immediately thought of some of a certain politician being punched. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, always. Um, and and I was watching a fight, and it was a young kid. He's like twenty two. Mm-hmm. He's like the next big thing. Like mm-hmm. th- this was like his big, this was like the first fight that was really going to test him to see like, oh, is he going to be like the Oscar de la Hoya It'll make or him is or he, break it or right. was he just hype because he kind of came out of nowhere. He came, like, he was good, but it, there was a lot of hype behind him because he was big on Instagram and like he had a big following and mm, I see, I see th- th- there was a weird thing where it was like, 
oh shit, he's bringing a lot of people to the sport that was dying. It was boxing was on its way out. Yeah, boxing right. is like considered like because of the politics and everything surrounding it. It's kind yeah, of like yeah. And this guy brought so many eyes to it, and now like he's he's young. He's like a handsome kid. Like he could be he could be the it kid for another fifteen years, and and mm-hmm. bring a lot of a lot of eyes to, to the sport. And I was thinking about that, and I was thinking about like Oscar De La Hoya, who was like the guy yeah yeah who I was this just guy about is, to, you know yeah. and i was thinking like oh like that guy it, it's it kind of reminded me of this episode where like oh there's people who like retire with grace and then there's people who don't and they're like fuck like this, it's fucking embarrassing and yeah. that, that's what this episode reminded me of like like <laughs> you're so stubborn that you you make a fool of yourself and you tarnish any sort of yeah that's that's actually memory really good uh they have of you yeah good um representation of what happens in this episode I, I didn't think about it from that angle yeah but no, yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah that, that's, that's very definitely a parallel yeah it's very interesting i hadn't thought about it that because interestingly enough this episode was actually supposed to have been written entirely from the perspective of the admiral really so that's why there's so many scenes where it's just the admiral talking yeah, with, his, exactly. wife with his wife and stuff yeah yeah but it was originally supposed to be entirely him so that would i think that would have played into your idea of it being that kind of parallel with you know fucking up your career maybe make it more direct and personal because you probably could have had a better idea of how he had come to come to become a respected like ambassador or whatever admiral and now because he couldn't leave the past alone he fucked it all up basically and he already fucked it i mean yeah i guess it's worth pointing out though that like the uh like a unique element to this particular situation in the episode is that um it isn't that he could have retired gracefully he did have this great secret shame that he was trying to correct. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, like it, he had like a motive to try to get himself up to fighting condition to, to like go back and make things right. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I should have just died. <laughs> but, but, but it, but it is still played up very heavily that he is a narcissist. He's selfish in his goals and oh, that yeah. he's a, like, he's just a stubborn asshole. So I yeah. think we're both right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting script. There's a lot going on. So true, true, there's true. a lot of different ways you can kind of interpret. I like that, that the seasons are getting more into more interesting scripts. I mean, we're still on <laughs> season one, which is still, know, it, co- still considered the rough one. So yeah, like it's getting it better though. Well. It's, it is still yeah. getting better. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm glad for that. It's not as good as last episode, I think. But it's an interesting episode. What was the I last think episode a, again? Last one? Uh, one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, uh, zero, one. One, one, zero, one, <laughs> one, zero, one. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. Um, so this, so the, the episode starts off and there's this weird general or whatever his rank is. Admiral. And he's like, Admiral. And he's like, hey. See, that's, that's the thing in Star Trek. As soon as you see an Admiral, you know he's a bad guy. So, Basically, and, yeah, yeah, huh? And and and, and he's, that even he's, holds true in BSG. Oh, yeah, it's like a thing. It's just like as soon as you're like upper military, you're an asshole. I guess I don't know. Well, it holds true. Um, and then so so you see him, and and he's got a bunch of guns behind him, a bunch of space guns, <laughs> and he's like, hey. Uh, these crazy motherfuckers took uh hostages. And- oh wait, no, I'm sorry. That's the that's the Carnass guy. Yeah, Carnass. So that's not yeah. the that's not the yeah. um, that's not the admiral. So he's that's like the, a general or something, right? He's like a governor. Yeah, he's oh, a right. governor of Mordan Four. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And so, so uh, they they call this this admiral who's fucking old as shit, uh, and has a horrible makeup job. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's how, so bad. Yeah, it's really bad. I don't know how. I mean, it's, it's makeup. To make somebody old is still bad. They just, they just gotta do it, and and, and they gotta do it the right way, and just cast younger actors. We'll, yeah. we'll go with it as long. As, look, you use the same uniform. Just, just we'll go with it. Just, yeah. just don't make us swallow this pill, which is that shitty ass fucking makeup. It's still, it's still going on. Do you think yeah. there was like? Well, okay, I mean, you've already uh, said that they should hire like different actors. I was about to yeah. ask you, like, is there a better special effect no. of the era? That no. could have done a better job. Okay, so the only thing that that's looked okay. So w- for anybody who's seen uh, the Irishman, you have De Niro, Joe Pesci, Harvey Keitel. See, Kytel. I thought that looked bad. So that, I, well, well, that, that's what I'm going to talk about. See, the thing yeah. is that, like, say what you will about the special effects, but their bodies were their old bodies, so they moved like old men. Exactly. So exactly. it didn't. It it, 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 it you you basically wasted millions of dollars on CGI because it looked bad when you could have actually hired young actors and just superimposed giving them a shot yeah no, no, no. just no 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 just super if you want to do it that way with De Niro just just do it like they did uh, the only one who's done it the right way and I don't know how he's done it 
how he how he gets away with it is David Fincher. He did it with the social network where he put the the, the guy's face on on the twin. Mm. They could have done that, mm, or yeah. they, so they could have gotten somebody to play the young De Niro's body, but use De Niro's face and his acting. It, okay, it could still work. The, like Marvel movies do that a lot too for de yeah. aging, yeah. where they yeah. will put in a stand-in that has yeah. a similar body type and then and then just uh, do their face yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. then and then benjamin button kind of works for for me yes yeah. well button works because a lot of his shots are really wide so yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. They, they 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 cheat they do a lot of cheating with shadows and lighting yeah. and yeah. by shooting wide and it's effective yeah uh, it, for also this like this is tv like that's true they, that's had, true. they had the one lighting set up in the I bridge know. and they're yeah, like they certainly <laughs> didn't have access to the cg technology we're talking about yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but i'm saying of, of all the things that i've seen makeup yeah or, or otherwise that's the one that's gotten closest and even that wasn't perfect it still had yeah. its flaws but uh it's never gonna work i think i think we should I just think, get, get accustomed to that. i think even for a makeup job it's still it's worse than it could be. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Even the even the crew of the show, they I were like part of that it, looks bad. Like <laughs> I think part of it might have just come from the fact that like not only do we need to a like show an aged man, but we also need to make it so that we can um visibly progress him backward. Yeah. So it's like come up with so a lot they, of looks. And yeah. so they had to like go really far in this direction so that they had a very clear yeah. like, you know, in uh, a like way a, that's completely like nobody ages to the way that looks. <laughs> yeah. Know, like, yeah. But it's yeah. like, well, we need to make it he's very only obvious. 85. That he's gonna lose I have the a white grandmother hair. who's 85. She does not look like that. Yeah. You know, like like that's not how people they don't age into mummies. Like they, they <laughs> like I don't about? know. E- even if he has Iverson's disease, whatever the fuck that is, like Ellen, I, Ellen Iverson's yeah, disease. Ellen I know Iverson's I was exactly. Like, I, I was always I was thinking the whole time. All three of us can't separately were thinking of Ellen Iverson as we were watching. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's funny because I kept for some reason it kept putting a uh, uh, like a, a fake Inception idea in my mind. Is like did Alan Iverson get some sort of disease? Is that why he doesn't play off today? <laughs> see, <laughs> just, see what what it what it for me what it did is is I just kept thinking like he's just gonna get up and start hooping. Like he's just gonna fucking start like yeah. And then your hair can't, starts naturally can't. curling yeah. in the cornrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, so no. so this fucking Admiral's the only guy who could who could like negotiate a peaceful Treaty Something, or whatever, is, yeah, yeah fucking bullshit. Thing, but it was, <laughs> it was to negotiate a hostage yeah. situation. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He's the only guy. He's the fucking. He's like the movie negotiator. He's like the Sam he's Jackson. Sam, yeah, he's Sam yeah. Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, so they're like, all right, uh, we'll bring him. We'll bring him to stupid ass. And so they're talking to the admiral, <laughs> and and he's like, yeah, I'll beam up at uh, uh oh fifteen at uh, fifteen hundred hours. And then Data's like, yeah, that's like now, dude. <laughs> so like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that is a really yeah. weird like thing that happens. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute, yeah. that's really soon. Yeah, why wouldn't you say I'll be yeah. up in a few minutes? Yeah, well, I, you- <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking, was was this a reference to like being old? Like he's like, yeah, I'll be, I'll be there in a, you know, for dinner. And he's like, I'll be, I'll be there in a couple minutes because like dinner's yeah. so early for the for him. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta call know. it supper. I don't know. Old. Yeah, 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 I guess so. Supper, and then so he shows up, and he's like, he's like Doctor Xavier, which, which foreshadows, you know, yeah, yeah. little Luke Picard. He's got this the sweet yeah, like Xavier. Like he totally stole thing. his chair. Yeah, yeah. He stole yeah. Picard's uh, rightful chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and you know what? I got to give credit to the the lady who plays his wife because she is um she is a good actress. Like yeah. in all her scenes, she she's kind of like she's really good. She's like. You really f- feel like she she cares for him, yeah, and it, especially yeah. like towards the end, that last yeah. scene. You're yeah. like that actually, like you could you felt like she she really loved her, loved him, like really specific. It was like yeah, it's pretty mm-hmm. good, it's pretty good. And then right away, he, he this his old ass is like making demands, like hey, when I when we get down there, I'm going to be in charge of the away team. I'll be you know like I'll basically be the captain down there. Yeah, and I was I was thinking like motherfucker, this not how we do things. You, you, you <laughs> sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. You're old. Yeah, you're fuck old. Up. Yeah, and he's like, uh, I'm sorry, but that's how I I get down. And so he's <laughs> I'm like, all right, whatever, dude. And so um, him and his wife are are in the ship now, and the old Karnak Karnaz Karnaz Karnaz, who's played uh, by uh, Ivan Drago's. Speaking of boxing, Ivan Drago's handler. In Rocky Four. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, I did not even realize that. Oh, Brought that her makes around. Sense. I yeah, was he, like, he looks really familiar. He's like a character actor from somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. TNG okay, is okay. such like a gold mine for all of those. Oh yeah, that guy. Sorts yeah, 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 yeah. Casting decisions. Oh, f- f- yeah. Fucking fucking tea bag. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like tea bag. Theodore Bagwell. <laughs> tea bag. <laughs> um, so you have you have old fucking Ivan Drago's handler, and he's like, hey. What's up, Admiral? We're gonna need you to negotiate, blah blah. blah. And he he gives him no no information, but the Admiral thinks he's like a badass, and he's like, uh, he's like, well, he actually did give me information. Uh, he gave me uh, the information he gave me was basically that these, uh, as I call them, Mordons or morons, <laughs> uh, that these these guys are willing to execute people in order to get what they want. Mm-hmm. And the, my, my thing is that like this dude's human, this old man's human mm-hmm. and Deanna Troy, why can't, why is all, why is her instinct failing her? Like, uh, why didn't, why, why isn't she saying like this old man's a piece of shit? We need they to wrote, beat, her, they wrote her to be limited so that she can't be the solution to everything. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, but she's, 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 she is the solution to yeah. a lot of things. She's like, she's half, yeah, 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 but, but yeah, she's half this guy's only so. human. This guy's this guy's only human, and she's really good with reading human emotion. So she should have been like this piece of shit. Let's fucking he's a fucking faker, like the Big Lebowski, and like they pick him up and they just fucking <laughs> throw him on the floor. <laughs> this guy's a faker. If I've seen one, um, <laughs> this guy's not crippled. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, if that scene happened, just oh, throw the admiral to the yeah, floor. Riker goes, pick him up. I'll demonstrate. I, yeah, and, I'll oh. demonstrate. This piece of shit's a fucking liar. Oh man. <laughs> he just picks good. him up and throws him and he just like, falls to the floor. Just as an aside, uh, I just want to point out that um Jameson, Admiral Jameson's like old man voice is terrible. Yeah, yeah it's awful. not great. It's it's <laughs> yeah. so his whole old man like mannerisms are so over the top where he's yeah. like, mm, I'm old. I'm he, very he, I feel like he just was like, what did Yoda do? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, Smack he's, my he's, lips a lot. That crazy gone. hobo, like, yeah. yeah, thing going on. Yeah, he's just Yoda. Yeah, holy shit, <laughs> he's like a bad Yoda, and and he basically they're they're contemplating like what the fuck is up with these these morons, and he's like, yeah, oh. it seems like something shady. It seems like something shady with this dude who's like wants us to get over there, and he's like, I don't know, dude. I don't know what we're gonna do because they they gave us nothing, and mm. so um. They, they're trying to pump information out of the old man because they're like, why the fuck do they, what does this, what does this guy want with this old man? Mm-hmm. Um, and they're trying to figure it out. And look, Picard is really patient, dude. I would not have the patience he does. Like, yeah, it's one of I, his traits where he's just like, let's just yeah. wait and see. Well, everybody on the ship has too much patience. I feel like if I was on the ship, <laughs> uh, like two minutes in, I would just start punching people. Just like I would be the state. <laughs> well, that's of, Kirk. Of Kirk the next is generation. like, we don't have time for this. Well, if, they're all being, sh- if they're all being good Starfleet officers and following protocol, like it was Starfleet yeah. that designated him the senior mission officer. So like yeah. they're they, but Kirk would have been like, I don't care what Starfleet said. And he'll yeah, yeah, yeah. show like the, the, this alien race, the constitution. You can buck starfleet at any moment to have a big character character time but uh you know at least for now they're just doing star which is so funny because because like you know picard is very goody goody two shoes i'm going to follow the protocol right yeah but in in the in the tng movies i think every tng movie he's he says i am this is a direct (laughs) contradiction of of starfleet orders (laughs) and well (laughs) <laughs> and, and there's like a scene always where he's like i'm basically turning in my badge and going rogue i've had it with you Picard. Lot. you're a loose cannon yeah and yeah. so basically so th- this is the part where i'm confused like he starts spinning a yarn this old man and he's like hey yeah when i negotiated earlier because so, so it turns out like this dude had negotiated peace with them earlier 45 like, years but, like, earlier 45 years ago and he's like yeah the way i did it like he kind of like it, it's very sketchy the thing is again we're uh what, what episode is this 16th episode yeah, six, yeah episode 16 we, we've mm-hmm. said it once we're gonna say it again i'm gonna keep fucking saying it every goddamn episode if there's something shady someone's got to point it out someone's gonna <laughs> yeah. go fuck this old man what the fuck is wrong with him let's fucking beat the shit out of him until he tells us what's wrong and, <laughs> why are and, you getting younger yeah. oh I, I cannot wait for us <laughs> yeah. to get to the end of this season <laughs> Dude, oh boy so, so 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 he's like yeah they wanted these terrorists wanted fucking guns and you know they probably insulted Carnaz 
and these people are regionally insulted and and it's like this story is not adding up old man tell us where the fucking money is um <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could think about was like, dude, someone pick him up and throw him on the floor, dude. He'll start fucking talking, dude. Yeah, so, I actually originally, this, is, this doesn't make sense in the Star Trek universe, but I kept, yeah. I did also keep thinking, what was the plot? Is it like they, they hit a treasure? Or something, and they're like trying to come back. To, like, that's like what, that's the, what I thought. So, so the, the, my original, <laughs> my original thought was because, like, they they focused a lot on his wife as well. Like, the next scene after the after this, uh, mm-hmm. he, him and his wife are in like their quarters, and it's like, oh, she's talking about how like nice their quarters are, and like if they had those quarters forty five years ago, she could have spent more time with him while he was away. Mm-hmm. And I thought, <clears throat> excuse me, when I when I heard that, I was like, oh, this motherfucker has a side chick. He's got a side chick and a, oh. like, a side kid, and he's probably going to go over there to get them. Oh, you know? that would have been interesting too. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's like remember when remember when when Hank Hill's dad went to went to uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and he had he had Hank had that half brother yeah. yeah and so that's what I thought I'm like dude this dude has definitely has a side <laughs> make robots and robot <laughs> accessories. <laughs> <laughs> Episode. <laughs> um, that that whole pl- arc it's like a two episode arc that arc is fucking great in yeah this, in, in king of the hill. uh it's king of the hill is by far i, I don't mean to to, to dv but king of the hill at it's it always was better than the simpsons i'd say it. i don't care who gets upset I, it was always I better than simpson i think they were both really good in both really different ways like, yeah and like, it's hard to compare anything to the simpsons because depending on how much of the simpsons you're talking about like you can have a very different opinion if it's the entirety of the simpsons <sighs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. average doubt king of the hill beats simpsons for sure but really easily <laughs> but the best of the simpsons versus the best king of the hill like i'd say they go toe to toe yeah yeah so this fucking old man he starts he 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 he's hanging out with his wife and he's like oh, i'm fine i'm fine and, and he's like oh she's like oh should i help you get to the seat to get out of your chair and he's like nah and he like he like opens the the xavier chair yeah. and he he like gets up and he sits down and he's like oh, and she's like oh my god you you <laughs> the treatment whatever treatment you had it's it's doing you good and then um so he starts holding his heart like he's having a heart attack and she's mm-hmm. like oh my god should i call the medic and he's like no no it's fine see uh, i'm fine now uh it's just uh it's, it's just this treatment tr- this treatment I've, I've been having and then these farts that, that get in my heart <laughs> and, uh, yeah, these heart farts <laughs> heart farts <laughs> And so, and so, uh, then we go back to Picard and uh, Doctor Crusher, and this scene is very interesting because they start talking about the Admiral's uh, health record. That's that mm-hmm. it's old; it's like two months old. <laughs> and but but like how she's sitting and how she's postured it makes it seem like they were talking about other things and like it very casually, like and she just it, brought it up. Yeah. And she just brought it up. And I'm like, what are they, what were they talking about? And cause like, he's like kind of like chilling, looking over like schematics, always looking over That's schematics. That's true. For some reason. Yeah. It's, it seemed like a very casual setup where she's, he was like, come in, I'm just doing some work before yeah. we do something else, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then he's like, yeah, this, 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 uh, report's really old and I don't know. And then, and then Luke Picard goes over to her and gets really close to her, really close. Mm, yeah. And he's like, Hey, I respect your opinion. I, I, I like you, you know, I always like you more than, <laughs> more than usual sometimes. And, but I, I really need these negotiations to go well. So I need you to be on the bridge in case the Admiral needs anything. And she's, and he says it. In a weird way, mm-hmm. like almost like she's a sex worker, and he's like, "Hey, in case something goes wrong, you got to be there." And I don't like how he said it. I don't like how he said it. I don't. I mean, yeah, he took it wrong, but I don't like how he said it. Um, he did say it like weirdly. He's also like basically being like, "I give you permission to be on the bridge," and it's like, "Yeah, oh, this, this is weird." Like, what? Yeah, what, what, this isn't. Isn't she just? Can't she just go on the bridge if needed? You know, it's like it's weird. Yeah, yeah. And I then think um, they were just trying to justify the fact that she was going to be there in every scene thereafter. Oh, okay. Maybe, so that's, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, um, they're they're on the bridge next, and old fucking admiral, uh, 
he's like, oh, I want, I want to, I want to touch buttons and stuff. Yeah, I want to touch <laughs> buttons. And so he opens the chair and he starts fucking walking. And everyone was like, what the fuck? Even Jordy's like turns around. And he's like, I can't see, but I could clearly see that this fucker's walking. <laughs> and um, Riker's like, what the devil? What the dickens? And then he he like misses a step or something, and he's about to fall. And Riker's about to get him, and he's like, no, no. he sweats his hand away. Yeah. And Jordy's like, ah, oh, fuck, this old man wants my chair. Okay, so I'll move. Sit down. He's like, oh, sit down, sit down. Have have the uh, the old uh, the old comes. And right away he gets really cocky, and he's like, ah, uh, I wanted to 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 man one last mission or some bullshit like that. And and the 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 captain has to remind him like, hey, don't forget, I'm fucking in charge. It's my fucking ship. It's don't, my ship. Don't go too far. Yeah, I'm I'm ship. older than Riker. I I could beat you up because <laughs> he's too young. <laughs> but I, I'm, I have all of my, we're my in hairs. the same age bracket. Yeah. I'm allowed. Yeah. To. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, they're like, all right, well, you know, it's cool. And then, uh, it, it, there's a scene with, with again, Dr. Crusher and Luke Picard. And he's like, Hey, there's something definitely sketchy going on. Like he's getting better. It seems like, it seems like something, whatever procedure he said he had before he left, something sketchy is going on. And again, they just ignore it. They fucking ignore it, dude. And, <laughs> and I'm she like, just goes, that shouldn't be possible at all. Yeah. Like, it should never happen. Well, He's got McGregor like, we've syndrome. Already, we've already glossed over <laughs> another huge red flag, which is like uh, Beverly Crusher, when she visited Picard, she was like, yo, those records that he gave us weren't two days old. They're two months old. Yeah. Yeah. They're too like, many. Uh, here's the thing. If one thing is is, is off, I, I get it. It's something. It, it could be. It could be just a coincidence. But once things start stacking up. We've had too many fuck ups in this fucking ship, dude. Also, yeah. why have they been re- reprimanded by by like start like this? Who's who's in charge? Yeah, shouldn't he report that to Starfleet like immediately and be like, well, we'd like no, the updated general, record. Like yeah. Starfleet should be like, you fuckers keep fucking up. Like things oh. <laughs> slip through your fucking fingers. We're gonna change up the. We gotta start like changing. Yeah, it depends on how. Like, it depends on yeah. how often they have to upload their captain's logs. <laughs> or maybe other ships actually fuck up even worse. Yeah, Starfleet than, is just a bunch of bubbling idiots. Yeah, they're just a bumbling sh- bunch of ships just bumbling around in space, and they're like, "Oh God, these ships exploded yesterday because <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they piloted it wrong." But the Enterprise, at least they're still there. Um, and then, and then, uh, and then the, the old lady goes to see the Admiral, uh, in his quarters and, and she's like, Hey, uh, what, what's, what are you doing sitting there? And he gets up and he's, he's walking normal and he, and she's like, what the fuck? And she gets a closer look and she's like, Oh my God. And he, and he's like, all I needed was, was space to get me, get, get the blood flowing, <laughs> you know, in the right places, if you know what I mean. And he starts fucking groping her. Yeah. And I'm like, this guy's fucking all horned up, dude. Um, <laughs> and, and he's like, no, no, no. I, he's like, and he's like, she's like, no, I got to show you something. And he's, and he's like, and he, these are his, are his, his exact words. I hope you're headed to the, for the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, this guy, this guy gets really horned up. He's trying to grope her. And, and then she finally turns on the light and shows, shows him his reflection. And he is definitely like a good, 20 years younger or something like that Mm -hmm. and he's like oh you flatter me and then he has another fucking stroke or heart attack and keeps having these and he's like oh boy um the noises (laughs) (laughs) and and he's like oh it's fine it's fine and then uh this time the the uh the wife calls calls the medical bay sick bay and he's like hey the admiral he's not feeling well he looks he looks younger but He's having a lot of heart attacks lately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> yeah. Is that normal? The first yeah. one we were like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. But then the second one, we we're like, that's Ooh, two. Yeah, that's maybe, maybe one more heart attack than we can tolerate a month. Yeah, What's one that? is fine, but two, fuck that. <laughs> and and then and so um the the Doctor Crusher and and Picard are like they're discussing his test results, and this is this is this is now the third sketchy clue. The third thing that's gone weird. And so the Picard goes to to look in on on the Admiral. And the Admiral comes out of like I think is his I think it's their quarters. I, I, I don't really know. I don't know if it's sick bay or their quarters, but he comes out and he's even younger than he was earlier. Yeah. And he's walking around, he's like, I'm fine, dude. Don't worry about it. I have it to me. I get I have a jittery heart. It's like I, Crusher Crusher tells Picard he's got some weird drugs like chemicals in his system yeah. that we've never seen before. Yeah. Like 
That's strike three. Let's yeah, get yeah. also Let's no one Starfleet. recovers from Iverson's disease. <laughs> no one. No one. No one. No one. They don't, we, they don't just start hooping because uh, they got Alan Iverson's disease. And this guy's hooping and fucking groping ladies again. And he's got to skip to his step now. And and I don't like him. I don't like him at all. I don't like him. I don't like this admiral at all. And he's too cocky. He's like trying to take the cards like power it feels like a weird power like struggle He's yelling at his wife like, yeah. yeah and so i don't like him uh, and and then so so uh, this young admiral now he's like ah, it's fine dude don't worry about it and uh, dr crusher just just told picard like hey dude there's something wrong with him he's got some weird drugs some horse tranquilizers i've never <laughs> seen these before and and he's like yeah the card's like yeah that's fine i'll go talk to him and <laughs> <laughs> and he's like yeah yeah and he starts he got, starts telling him this tale that like he negotiated some thing and some planet and in return like he got this weird drug that these natives in this planet had yeah it feels like such a lie yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a but very I guess contrived what actually story happened. but it yeah. feels like someone this is another another i'm gonna loop it back into politics it feels like something a, a old conservative white fucking politician would say like <laughs> yeah th they're not stem cells right i got a treatment <laughs> i swear to god stop fucking stem cells there, were, there aren't any dead fucking babies that and wasn't an abortion that was it wasn't it. an abortion it was like she <laughs> is different <laughs> oh god <laughs> this is what exactly it feels like and and he's like hey it's not nothing nothing's fucked uh and his wife's like what do you mean and she's like she's like look it's kind of painful but, you know, they told me to take these two, like, um, two treatments. And it, so he was supposed to take, it was supposed to take, like, two years, right, for this treatment yeah, to work? Yeah, over the course of, one dose over one the dose. course of two years. And then right. he would take a second, a second dose, and then over he, two years. And then he would be, he would be, like, not this young, but he would kind of have, like, a, he would be a little more spry. It might know? save him from Iverson's disease, at yeah, the very yeah. least. Yeah. But, no. but he, he, he got impatient, and he's like, nah, fuck that. I'm going to take two fucking shots of this. He's like, you know, <laughs> you know how much cocaine I did in my youth? These two, <laughs> these two medications are going to do shit. Um, so, so he's like, I took both of them. And she's like, and he's like, yeah, but what about me? His wife's like, nah, she didn't say that. She, <laughs> surprisingly, she, she, was, she wasn't... Um, because that, that would have been my thought. It's like, fuck you. Well, dude, she you does say what a, yeah, she actually says something along those lines where she says, well, what, what about like, you me? Did, yeah, you didn't consult me or care about what I thought about your decision. Yeah, yeah that's what she was concerned yeah, about. Yeah, she was yeah, like, she, I don't, you didn't even ask me if I would want something like that. You didn't even tell me and, you're and he doing says, it in the first place. He said, I got some for you and I'll get some more. And she's like, Hi. she kind of hints that like, that's not her thing. Like, she, she, she doesn't she's want like, that, I, yeah. I like, I think she likes where she's at. She's like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like where we were at. It's also and really so dumb to like, be like, don't worry, I got enough for both of us, but I took both of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, but I love you. I got both. I got enough for both of us, but I already took it all. <laughs> I got yeah. two ice cream cones, one for you, one for me, but I had to eat both of them. <laughs> we were going to space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take both. I had to eat all the yeah. ice cream. We're going to space. <laughs> And uh, we're going to Saturn, we had no choice. Going to Saturn, no yeah. choice. Getting, we're getting our ass to Mars, <laughs> and so and so and so, like, he's he's getting really upset. So, clearly, this drug makes him horned up and angry, um, and crazy. And, and yeah, and yeah. he again he tries to grope her, and he's like, and she's like, now nah, let me go, you fucking pervert. Uh, and he's like, don't worry, I'll get some more drugs. Uh, <laughs> he was going all crazy like earlier like before Picard left he was like I'm fitter fitter than you Picard <laughs> yeah <that's laughs> like, Picard's like you. sure buddy yeah, sure. Sure. you want to arm wrestle <laughs> let's go yeah <laughs> and and then the next scene here's the thing that's weird so like in the next scene they uh he's like in a dark fucking room and you can't see his face and he's and he's like data <laughs> put me in a secure fucking secure yeah. contact with Carnaz and yeah. right away I'm like if I'm Picard, I'm like, no, no secure. F I'm the only one that gets fucking secure fucking lines. Fuck you. I'm going to give you a line, but I'm going to fucking spy on you. That'd be yeah, my fucking he thing. Should, he should have told Data, tell him this is a secure line. And yeah. Then we and, then, will and then pump check it. In on. Yeah. 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 But and, and or, or like be like, hey, Data, like this is if I had like someone like Data be like, hey, listen in on it. If you think it's there's information that we should know, then you fucking tell us, dude. That's actually a really good approach because data is completely truthful. Yeah. So he yeah. would have just been like, "There was nothing of note. I am deleting all records of this." Yeah. You know? yeah like he. Yeah. Oh, what's funny Carl, is that like during this video episode. call, 
Karnas, like he should be like, why won't you show your stupid face? You look like you're on one of those yeah. primetime yeah. journalism specials <laughs> yeah. where they refuse yeah. to reveal the identity of the whistleblower. Yeah, I can't he, see your face. Yeah. It's definitely you, Jameson. <laughs> and, 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 and first of all, first of all, if it's the Caroline, why didn't, why didn't you just say, Jameson, you fucking piece of shit? I'm once you get here, I'm gonna fucking kill you, dude. Yeah, you basically, fuck me yeah. Once? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I would, I would have just started yelling at him and being like, yeah. dude, if this is a Caroline, you are fucked, my friend. You're in for yeah. a world of yeah. pain, dude. The only reason he's in the dark is just so at the end he can he, he they'll have the whole yeah, conflict yeah. of well, that's not Jameson. He's yeah. uh, even. He's, younger now <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. so he he talks to Karnaz and he and then he goes to the bridge old admiral and he's like look we're at warp four let's let's crank this baby up to warp six eight. <laughs> they're like oh eight and he's like why he's like well we're gonna get in there early we're gonna surprise them i know that there's i know there's these weird tunnels underneath and blah blah, blah. we're gonna we're gonna get in there we're gonna we're they basically they're gonna, they're gonna play out the rock <laughs> yeah, in yeah. this planet like they're gonna go that's the, actually yeah that's exactly the it, tunnels yeah. and and you know they're gonna get sean connery to show them how to the the sequence of the fucking the the <laughs> furnace <laughs> then, then magically you could survive if you know the fucking timing of it yeah uh yeah. and and they gotta go they get you gotta get nicholas cage to find out what the drug is yeah. that he took he um, the syringes too so yeah the, yeah the end wharf puts a syringe in his chest <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sets off flares. Michael Bay fucking shots. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, and uh, Michael Bay should direct fucking the next Star Trek, dude. It'd be so beautiful, dude. <laughs> the Rock would be in it, just fucking <laughs> just ripping through his fucking his Starfleet suit. Just oh pfft. man, the Rock has been in Star Trek. I really? should let you know. Yes, uh, in Voyager. Oh, um, there is a there's an episode where he's. Um, Don't tell me. Okay, no spoilers. Okay. Was it the okay. Scorpion? Okay. We're King eventually Planet? gonna get there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. His planet it's, was it's, called the Rock. <laughs> <laughs> All of the citizens are called jabronis. <laughs> yeah, listen up, jabronis. We're in um, orbit so, around Dwayne Three. So, <laughs> so, so it, it, at this point, I mean, we're looking at the bridge, and this fucking bitch ass fucking admiral takes takes Luke Picard's seat in the middle. Yeah, take the captain's chair. I don't like th- like him, dude. Picard should just bitch slapped and gone. Look, I don't care. Picard should have been like, "That's get. my seat, sir." Okay. I'm you. You told me I'm still the captain of this ship. God yeah. damn it! And to add okay. insult to injury, like in this stage of his aging, he looks so ugly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just has this he, awful Picard. double chin that like won't settle. <laughs> it it it. it, it. <laughs> Don't like it. <laughs> and 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 Picard should have said, like, I don't care how young you get, I will fucking bitch slap your ass back to where the fuck <laughs> town you came from, dude. Uh and so and so they they you they get to talking, the ladies get to talking. Oh yeah, yeah. And they're talking about how like this guy's getting younger and, and like he's like, ah, we were just gonna have we were just getting time for ourselves, you know. He had retired finally. Mm-hmm. I mean you then mentioned Benjamin Button like and like there are some serious Benjamin Button vibes in this scene. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah. he's getting okay. younger, and I'm still old as shit. So what the fuck? Okay, uh, this, I might be an anomaly here, but I I got vibes of the room uh, <laughs> <laughs> specifically. <laughs> let me okay. Let me play the clip back. And let me explain. I think I think I, I know I, what you're talking about a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our anniversary is next week. Our fiftieth. In his heart, he's still the same man you married, Anne. That's true. He still cares for you, despite the physical changes he's undergoing. But he's getting younger, and I'm... Well, look at me. Why did he do this? Because there are lives at stake, Mrs. Jameson. Well, what about our lives, his and mine? I was looking forward to time together, finally. Our retirement. Now he's young again and has his life to live over. Doctor, she has to know. Know what? Anne, your husband. What is it? He's not stabilizing. He may not have that life to live over. Okay, so <laughs> the reason why that reminded me of The Room is there's a famous scene from The Room where, where Lisa and her mom are just talking. Mm-hmm. And at the end, they're just talking randomly about, you know, uh, go like life with uh you know tommy was so and whatnot how she doesn't love him and blah blah blah. but then it ends with 
oh, Lisa's mom going like, oh, you know, life is so short these days. And then she go, Lisa goes, mom, stop saying things like that. And she goes, no, it definitely is. I got the results of the test back. It's definitely breast cancer. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> this like <laughs> complete left field turn. And that's what that felt like because they're having like a kind of a philosophical conversation and they go, by the way, your husband's about to die. <laughs> But what's funny Which feels is like that, it should like, be the first thing they should bring up when you bring the wife into the sick bay. Yeah, but talk about your husband. But hold on, <laughs> like <laughs> if you start from zero here, assuming that he didn't, you know, have this like crazy, um, you know, uh, Cerberus two drug inside him. He has Iverson's disease, and it, mm-hmm. isn't that supposed to doom him? Right, but I I think the idea is they were like he's gonna die much sooner now. Where Iverson's disease, he would have died a few years later or something. No, but something like, yeah. she t- the, the clip that you just played back, she was like, We were going to enjoy our life together finally in retirement. It's like, No, you weren't. He was going to die. Oh, yeah, that's true. Unless she's just like, I just wanted a few years. Maybe. <laughs> you know? She's like, Look, yeah, that's all she, she she, I, I think, I think, look, I'm maybe reading too much into this, but I think she was like, Look, he was almost going to die. Then I was going to have like a good five to 10 years by myself <laughs> without that piece of fucking shit. Yo, that's a good <laughs> angle. Now, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, I- I've had to deal with that piece of shit for fucking all these years, and now was my chance to for him to die. I gotta <laughs> live with him. I- he's gonna outlive me. That young yeah. piece of shit. Like, why all the hell money? did you give him yeah. that sensu bean, Goku? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now oh he can God. go fight. Not he's sell. <laughs> now he can go fight everyone again. <laughs> uh, so then you have the scene, and and like, uh, and and old fucking. Admiral's fucking drinking. He's all fucking pounding again. <laughs> and he's like, I haven't had a drink in a long time. And he spins his chair around. He's fucking young as shit, dude. Yeah. Uh, and, but him being young makes no fucking point. Like, it's like he, who cares if he's young, if he's having fucking strokes every fucking hour? Yeah. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't really, the fact that he's still undergoing the process should aut- immediately disqualify him from running an away mission. Yeah. But yeah. I, I don't know. It's, I am a little impressed that this show, like it, it being made in the 80s, uh, managed to avoid the, the trope of like uh, actually getting like a teenager and then eventually a baby. You know, like oh. completely reverse <laughs> aging him, you know, until it becomes well, like a zygote or something. That was the original plot of the episode. See? It, he wasn't. <laughs> See? He was originally supposed to become stuck as a little teenager, like a like a 13 year old, I think. So Th- They should have done that way. Like he, he's, he, I think he's it would have been more fun. They still, they still send them on the away mission. Exactly. It would be more fun <laughs> to have Karnas like yeah. you know accosting a thirteen-year-old, say like "You fucker, you screwed uh, us over." Uh, it's like Power Rangers, Alien Rangers, and they have to like force him to. Okay, I'm gonna take a I'm quick sorry. second. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take a I'm quick sorry. second. They should stop bringing up Power Rangers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take a very quick second to to do one of my my uh, uh, characteristic. This guy looks likes. <laughs> and so at this stage where he's like finally without makeup, he looks like mm-hmm. Sebastian. No, wait, Sebastian Stan? Uh, Bucky? Oh, hell yeah, he does. Mixed yeah, with, yeah, the, yeah. with I, just a dash of Peter Dinklage. See, I thought he kind of looked like, um, who's the... Uh, Kyle Reese? Oh, I, no, no, Game Over. Yeah, no, Game no, no, Over uh, Man. Oh, yeah, Bill Paxton? Bill Paxton. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, slightly yeah, like Bill Paxton. Too. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Young yeah. Bill Paxton. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this fucker is like, hey, uh, he gets ready for the away mission. He's like, hey, I want to remind you, I'm going to be in charge down there. And he's like, yeah, you may be in charge, but I'm the captain of the ship and I have the right to, to go with you. Yeah, it's fuck badass. Yeah. He's yeah. like, fuck you. I'm yeah. going with. And yeah. because everyone else suited up with like the bigger phasers, he still, he only brings this like tiny sidearm phaser. And he's still like going around doing stuff. It's cool. I like. Yeah, it. he's he's still he's like it's not the size of the ship. It's the the motion of the ocean. Um, <laughs> and then and then he and then they get over there. And he's like, oh, these tunnels. I remember there being a door here. Oh fuck it, we we'll have to go to the furnace. The whole rock's playing out here. <laughs> and, and 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 they're like, no, nah, we'll, just, we'll just fucking put a hole in this wall, dude. Don't worry, dude. <laughs> uh you, it's not like when you first escaped uh, and so they they put a hole in the wall and they and they, they they get in the that room and then jordy's like uh i see a bunch of fucking red lights over here what could they be and it's like <laughs> it's, it's a fucking well-lit room there's fucking people with guns you fucking yeah. blind bitch God unless they appeared out of nowhere somehow yeah, yeah. they had predators what, camouflage what, one really fun uh thing about this this um 
this episode, uh, this scene in when they're having the shootout. I think that set or, or part of that set is actually from Spaceballs. Oh, really? They actually grabbed it and were like, "Ah, oh, fuck it, it's close enough." Because it was. Wait, what makes you think that? Oh, it's it's part of the trivia I had looked up. Oh, okay, it's okay, like, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. P- part of this is from Spaceballs. I for- just want to. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna point out how stupid it is to be like. I remember these tunnels from 45 years ago. Like nothing <laughs> has changed. He'll, they'll, the hostages will be there. Don't worry. Yeah, they'll definitely not build anything. And also, <laughs> yeah, you idiot. <laughs> and of course, like we all thought, they're 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 in the middle of a fucking phaser battle, and th- this bitch ass has a fucking heart attack again. again. Yeah, and War, Warf again. has to save his again. life by tackling yeah. him out of the way. And yeah. So then the Carnass is like, hey. You guys, so, someone was here fucking with this dude. Uh, I don't like when people fuck with me. So I'm going to show you what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. And he's like, he's going to start killing people. And he's like, uh, bring, bring Dr. Crusher. We're going to, uh, br- oh, no, 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 sorry. He's like, I'm going to go to see Do- Dr. Crusher. So they go to the sick bay and, and he like, he goes in there and finally this old man like, like confesses everything that he did. Finally. Mm-hmm. And he's like, look. When I was younger, 45 years ago, I, this guy wanted to negotiate. He wanted weapons. And so he wanted weapons because they had killed his father. These terrorists, had, these morons had killed his father and he wanted revenge. Uh, so, well, he didn't say revenge. He just said he, he wanted, uh, he wanted weapons. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, well, he I does gave want him, revenge using nah, the I weapons. Guess so. yeah. 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 And he's like, I gave him, I gave him guns, but I also gave his, 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 um, enemies guns yeah. so he basically made it a fair battle which to me seems fair like yeah fuck you like like you uh, want guns like i think it's fair it's like that's like that's like uh what's that, that nicholas cage movie where he's um face off lord of lord of, <laughs> lord of war where, yeah, uh, oh, yeah where he says he, he gives he gives weapons to everybody and yeah. that, isn't that the plot he gives him weapons to everybody and that's what gets him in trouble or something well yeah well uh yes kind of <laughs> yes and no but that's a shit movie. I, I forget i forget um that's a that it's funny to say that's a shit nicholas cage movie because there's worse <laughs> movies that are actually better <laughs> it's weird um so so they beam down to the planet and with uh with admiral and carnes is like what the fuck is this dude a center for ants who's this man <laughs> <laughs> get this man out of here uh and and he's like he's like bring me the admiral now and he's like he's like motherfucker this is the admiral he's taking some sort of fucking benjamin (laughs) button potion and he's he's and and he's like he's like carnaz uh it's me you stubborn old man it's it's this i'm the guy who you want just free the fucking hostages and i'll i'll turn myself in and he's like long story short on this one uh because it gets really there's a lot of fucking talking the they has clearly, a speech to try they, to like yeah they clearly him, like. they clearly got to to this to this point and they're like dude we're like fucking 15 pages short dude start <laughs> writing a monologue dude start writing monologue and he's uh, like fine that's that's my specialty yeah. um and so they they go on about how like this guy wanted guns and he gave the enemies guns as well and he's very upset at the admiral and he just yeah. believes this is admiral and uh, the admiral's like dude but you told me that you want a revenge you didn't say you wanted the guns for peace you said you wanted them for revenge so fuck you i gave the other guys the guns because you don't want peace you want a revenge so at least you guys are even and mm-hmm. then the this old old fucking carnaz is like i wanted you to look at our scars and it's there's a cutaway to three old men and i'm like are these the only people you have alive now <laughs> and the hostages <laughs> <laughs> this is the goddamn problem with politics all they also all, all four they also, old white dudes yeah none of them look battle ready like no. they, they're they're dressed they, like they're like battle soldiers but they all look like kind of chubby and out of shape one <laughs> like, one looks like Mitt, one looks like Mitt romney one looks like, like <laughs> biden the one left looks like biden and the one on the right looks like he, he shouldn't belong there uh and why is and he's camo like, he's, just the standard i don't know of dude. a color that doesn't seem to be their planet yeah, yeah. They would what, be camo, what's it for like, <laughs> this is the material the 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 wardrobe people had like, I don't know that's exactly it he's that, like, that, he's like that, actually this isn't camo it some bleach fell on this fabric and <laughs> It, it looks like tie dye. It looks like tie dye. If you yeah, look, does, okay. If you look at their outfits from a wide shot, it's really clear that it's like a long sleeve t shirt and like uh, a fanny pack <laughs> just yeah, put over yeah. it, yeah. and they're just wearing like baggy sh- baggy jeans, like uh, baggy like sweatpants or something. And it's like 
Not a great looking. <laughs> Not a great costume, dude. <laughs> and so old fucking Admiral's having a bunch of heart attacks and he's like, oh, good, oh, good. And he's like, this is the fucking Admiral. I don't care what you think he looks like. He's like, he's like, Picard's like, I, th- I, I, th- I got this, dude. Don't worry. Call his wife. <laughs> She'll vote for <laughs> 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 and so well first first picard shows him pictures of his, of his de-aging and, and it's yeah. like yeah who gives it you you it's you're pictures me, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you, you could have photoshopped these you idiot we're in the future you can make <laughs> yeah. anything yeah. just a deep fake. you could make yeah you could literally you could literally make people in the in the in the in the uh the holodeck, holodeck. Yeah. you could literally made it, you could have made him he could be a new person that that he just he's taking the blame for you and he's acting this way cuz he's he's outside the holodeck um and, and so his wife comes and he's like oh honey oh poor honey and and he's like oh and and uh, uh the admiral tells him like hey remember when we were alone in that room and you you revealed the secret to me and he's like yeah but the admiral could have told you and this is a bullshit fucking like out which is that he's like then then show me the scar He's like, I will show you the goddamn scar, and he he lifts he lifts his, yeah. his, his shirt, and there's a stupid scar that he could have given anybody. By the way, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I made like, lots of blood packs with lots yeah. of people. Like any Hollywood yeah. makeup <laughs> artist could fake this scar. <laughs> yeah, and and he's sweating, and he kind of looks at this point. The admiral looks like like uh how michael j fox looks right before he's gonna turn into the uh, werewolf, yeah. and, and T-Wolf. <laughs> with the red eyes oh, I thought you were gonna go for when he's like fading away because no the no time no is no, no dude it, this is this is peak teen wolf michael j fox and he's like yeah I like a keg of beer <laughs> <laughs> he's got the red eyes he's sweaty because he's transforming oh yeah you're uh, right yeah huh <laughs> Very good, very and good. And so, and so, Carnes is like, "Well, fuck you! I'm going to shoot you then." And the and Mitt Romney in the background is like, "What the fuck is he doing?" And yeah, why are they surprised? Yeah, they, they knew they like, wanted. <laughs> he's a psychopath piece of shit, dude. You, why are you surprised? And so, so uh, the admiral's fucking freaking out. He's having all these crazy heat seizures or whatever he's having, <laughs> and he's like, "No." My revenge will be seeing you live like this. And it's like, God damn it, dude. You don't know what you want, dude. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of effort yeah. spent just to have him in front of you. Yeah. And you're just going like, to sit there. It's like, a lot of convenient a changes man. of heart here, if, dude. If this, is, if this is your thing, I'm like, I'm like, look, I'm not a really violent man, but I could think I could. I Right now, I have 10 ways to torture somebody. You know? <laughs> like, Why not just be like, we're just going to take him. Yeah. And then we'll tell, release the hostages and we'll just throw him in the brig. And, yeah. And we're going to take him. That. And we're gonna waterboard the shit out of him, and then he will find out who the real admiral is. But I'll let the I'll let the hostages go. For <laughs> um, and so he he lets the admiral live, and he's like, oh, he's like such pain. <laughs> but he yeah. feels, he feels everyone bad for becomes him now? weirdly sentimental. It's yeah, weird. I grabbed the scene because it seems like it was a different part of the script, and they just stapled it on because it's like <laughs> everyone was yelling at each other, yeah. and then suddenly, just because he's dying, everyone's like. Oh no, he's dying. This man I wanted to kill. <laughs> yeah, I just pulled my rifle off the wall. Yeah. Lord, can you hear me? Yes. I will always love you. Annie with the golden hair. Flatterer. It's gray now. I see only the gold. He's fucking dead now. (laughs) And Karnas is visibly moved. Rest, Jameson. Your long night. And mine. Why is he talking to him? Yeah. Yeah, like, like he's like an old friend. Yeah, or like, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like no, you were gonna, you wanted to kill this guy. Why you? He why had, the sympathy? It's like, but if they had established some sort of like we had like a brotherly bond before this happened or something, that yeah. that might be like oh, oh like like Karate Kid too. You know, where the two like dojo guys, like Mr. Miyagi and the other dojo guy, they hate each other now, but they used to be brothers. You know, like but there's nothing about? like that established. What are you they talking just, about? Oh, and Karate Kid too. The whole plot is a Mr. Miyagi. They go back to Japan, right? Yeah. 
Mr. Oh, Miyagi. Oh, yes, yes, Yeah, yes, and this yes, is yes, the yes, rival yes, yeah. dojo guy oh, who's his no, old brother, you you're, know? You're talking about nothing. He's not a dojo. He he literally is like his, his like half-brother, kind of. Like yeah, his yeah, yeah, yeah. Step-brother, yeah. kind of like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's like the current head of the the current whatever family. Let's not kid ourselves. He's a fucking Yakuza, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He I mean, there's a, a lot of there's runs, a lot of crime happening. He's a, he runs. He's like he's like he runs a whole fucking country, dude. And he, he yeah. runs a criminal enterprise. That fucker was in the mob, dude. He was mobbed up. <laughs> and <There's>, it, <laughs> uh, just a small aside. There's so many scenes in that movie where Mr. Miyagi just comes up to that guy while he's doing something. Like you know, he'll be like karate chopping like a rock for practice. Oh yeah. yeah and yeah. Miyagi comes up behind him and goes. So, do you want to stop being hating each other? And he goes, "No, okay." And he leaves. This happens like three times yeah, in yeah. the movie. He's like, "So, so <laughs> I'm here to just say, like, hey, we should call the truce." No, and he's okay. like, "He's like, I'm practicing breaking this fucking law. It's like a break your back, fucker." <laughs> Remember when we found this rock together as children? Yes. Yeah. I do you want to not it. be bad guys anymore? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, Mr. Miyagi's like, "Hey, you're stuck in this 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 giant beam fell into you. I'm gonna break it, dude." <laughs> And then you're some fucking Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. (laughs) You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say something really controversial. I think that's the best. That's the best Karate Kid movie. I think there are elements of it which are great. I think the love interest part is much better than in the first movie. Because yes, I recall enjoying dancing. Oh, yes. <laughs> here's the thing too is that like like they're like they i like how they and this is such a tangent i like how they incorporated like the fact that like look yeah like they raise the stakes in the right way which is like hey i know we, i taught you how to fight but but if you're fighting this dude you're not fighting for a goddamn fucking stupid trophy in the fucking valley you're That's literally true. fighting for your life you're gonna fucking die if you lose that's not how piece. it works in japan motherfucker yeah. it's like a <laughs> yeah. real fight <laughs> yeah i have a blood feud motherfucker i left i'm, tr- I'm gonna train you by throwing a giant fish hook at your face and yeah. if you don't dodge it you're dead yeah that's how we train here in japan yeah <laughs> Um, and it does bother me though that in the first Karate Kid they called the crane kick the un- unblockable, unstoppable move, and, and then, then he, dis- and then he blocks it in this one. He casually blocks it. <laughs> well, it also well also because he had Vegeta meet Frieza. He had he had been trained. <laughs> so so Miyagi, Miyagi's dad had trained Miyagi and this dude, and this dude had trained this other dude who knew yeah. to block it. So it 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 was like a cheat yeah. kind of. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Anyway, back. Sorry, back to back to this fucking episode. Basically, and then uh, old fucking. Son was a basement king. Yeah, <laughs> he was like, he's like in America. I'm a badass. Yeah, I'm not and the then best go to there Japan. is in my neighborhood. I, was, yeah, I could, yeah. I could beat anybody in Smash. Come he goes to me. a real tournament. Yeah, he goes yeah, to a real tournament. Hey, yeah, verse me, <laughs> verse me. <laughs> it is um, a little weird for like essentially like an Italian guy from America to go to Japan and he beats up all the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> but i mean he he was trained by the best of that country yeah 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 it's it's, it's i mean it's it's fine it's 80s it's fine it's, we put yeah, sonic I, I, in I, thinking I, about I get, those things i get you what know. you're saying but i'm saying like like yeah, let's yeah. take away the, the the horrible politics of it yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I I like the love interest so much better. Elizabeth Shue is like a huge asshole in the first movie and kind of and it definitely is in the sequel where she like it's just, it's just like lampshaded that well, she left him for like some UCLA college kid. So it's well, like, I mean, she left him for Marty McFly. Literally, she went to do back to the that's, mm, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's literally what um, happened. So and and so I, I, I don't know. Like how I don't know how else they could have re- rewritten that. But I it mean, was very like t- to be honest, though. Between Ralph Macchio and Michael J. Fox, I gotta go with Michael oh, J. Yeah. Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. He's he's a handsome devil. I mean, I, um, like, and believe me, I'm I'm a Daniel too. I <laughs> I sympathize, and I, and even I, I empathize. But, th- but then you get that really nice Japanese girl who teaches him all about the tea ceremony, and she's very nice. <laughs> and she wants to come to America. So I haven't yeah. seen Cobra Kai, and I, I haven't seen that. But I really my, want to watch it. My, yeah, yeah. I know I heard it's really good. My pitch for three or or four, uh, like no, instead of five. Cobra Kai, and, and so. Oh yeah, because it's the next Karate Kid, and then yeah. <laughs> Cobra Kai. So my pitch for Cobra Kai, or the movie w- that would have been instead of Cobra Kai, was an older uh, Anthony Larusso. Mm-hmm. He he's he's got the whole Hank Hill thing where he's got to he's got to go back to to Okinawa because he got that chick mm-hmm. pregnant and he left her. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. That young? Go- <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, he, that's he definitely happens. fucked her, dude. What do you think? Yeah, that he just happened. fucking necked and he just left. <laughs> Wait, how it's long until we get the Cobra left. Kai of the Jackie Chan and and Jaden Smith version no. of Karate Kid? Oh God, that version's so bad. <laughs> you think the the world will collide? <laughs> oh Same no, universe? please, In, please into the don't. Karate Kid verse. Let's go. Oh, yes, God. dude. You can bring in Jackie Chan if you can afford him. Let's be honest. Don't bring in Jaden. Like, just don't do it. Like, bring let's back- go learn Chinese karate, guys. <laughs> guys, let's bring in. I, I'm gonna say, it, let's bring in Hillary Swank. Bring her back. She. I mean, it was a good attempt. I mean, it's not a it particularly a, a, ma- it was a shitty attempt, dude. They well, she, tried. she took a That's detour I mean. and like, ended up in boxing. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's, all, that's my head cannon always. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. it's like it, it just got her into like like fighting martial arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, huh? You know, combat Mr. sports. Miyagi, Mr. Yeah. Miyagi killed her, dude. <laughs> Maybe she has one more movie in her where she takes up MMA and then she'll have completed a full trajectory. Hmm. Yeah, I think you just combine it. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, let's finish this off and then we'll we'll jump back on the Karate Kid thing. <laughs> um. And so so um. Uh, so basically, uh, it ends. He dies, and and old fucking Carnaz is like, uh, well, well, you know what? Uh, he's dead. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna basically yeah. give myself up for, to 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 whatever. I release the hostages. Okay, no, no, can even he has bury no him on my planet. It's fine. No, because he said he said I'll accept. I'll accept something like meaning. Like, no, no. I, he I literally it, said I, I will. It. I will go along with your plans. But because he's still technically not part of the Federation, so they can't arrest him or anything. But he's a war criminal. He's a goddamn fucking Qaddafi. He's, dude. he's technically protected by Prime Directive, dude. That, they should. It, the, it's fucked up. Picard <laughs> should go. Fine. We're gonna let the people figure it out just like they did the Qaddafi you piece of shit <laughs> he just fires some phasers on their like defense systems and he's like let's see how you look feel about this now and then you yeah them. um anyway man sometimes you know you know never mind I don't want to go there. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to get say probed by better. that I know I thought yeah, you were I was, I was saying something horrible and I don't want to get probed let's by just, that let's just say sometimes dead is better yeah yeah. Just leave it um, and so and which so, makes sense for his character sometimes yeah. you dying is better yeah so you know. and so I mean, was that gonna. was the end of the episode yeah that was the episode and uh yeah it's I thought it was pretty decent for what it's such a strange idea for an episode um this the aging thing that leads to a hostage situation takeover. Also, yeah. did, did they ever go into like, well, that seemed to work. Let's fucking figure that out. Like, let's go figure that. Let's go fuck those people up and take their fucking their <laughs> their, their, their serum. Yeah, like why isn't there more no, interest like, surrounding again, Cerberus too and their rejuvenation? Again, whenever spell. whenever Star Trek discovers something miraculous, they just go. Well, that's the end of that story, and then they move on. Like it's just like the like outpost. Oh, it's, it's like, like oh, the last outpost. It's like the most powerful planet ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> and they just go, ah, oh, just leave it. Don't, don't, let's not talk to him ever again. I mean, I can understand when, you know, some entity beyond their, their, their power or, you know, like yeah. that can just do whatever the heck it wants. It's like when you're at their mercy, fine. You can, you can stop effing with them after you're done. But when it's like tech or stuff that you can study. Right. Yeah. It's, I it's, don't know. It's, a little, it's, it's a little harder. It's a little harder. Uh, all, they discover so much stuff that they keep forgetting. Yeah. yeah that, so. That's 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 the real <laughs> thing going on with Starfleet. They keep rediscovering the same shit. Yeah. That's what happened the in Galaxy's the Naked Now. They were smaller like, than anyone gave a credit for. <laughs> for some reason, only Riker remembered this happened on the Enterprise before, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no one even remembers what happens on, like, well, okay. Wait. Are you talking about the previous Enterprise or their own Enterprise? The previous Enterprise, where Riker, Riker was just okay, like... Okay, then my point stands. No one remembers what even happens yeah. on their own Enterprise. That's true. That's just so. That's just too much going on. We're really tired. Yeah, it's we just like, want to. We just want to have fun in space. Let's just. Let's not. Let's not take it. This is, everybody, calm down. Just please, please stop interrupting our fun space time. Or really, just the holodeck. Because they could just have the holodeck at home, and everything is great. Why even go up in a ship? Let's just put fucking droid ships everywhere. And no one actually fly out there, right? Why, what's the point? Now, if your mission <laughs> is to explore strange <laughs> new worlds, you can just like do some random number generation shit in the holodeck and get some stuff. <laughs> do some, do some, uh, uh, no man's sky. Yeah. In your, and or spore. <laughs> in, your hol- in your holodeck. Here's my pitch. Here's my pitch. Okay. Okay. You guys ready? Okay. Mm. They should have given fucking Picard the serum, right? Ooh. Mm. And then he becomes Jason Statham. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
you realize that, <laughs> that that Picard in his younger years, in his youth, was a bare knuckle boxer. We couldn't oh, and a transporter. We couldn't get through fuck it. you up, mate. We didn't yeah. make it. Yeah. We had yeah. to do it. We have to do it. Yeah. He, yeah. His his accent reverts back to Cockney. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, oh, I remember. <laughs> These fists memories have returned. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, dude, it's gonna happen. If if I talk about it enough, it's gonna happen. <laughs> God, I love being French. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, what's your what's your name? What's your name, sir? <laughs> Oi, my name's Captain Luke Picard. <laughs> Fuck you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I love Earl Grey tea and the French. Yeah. <laughs> boy, why don't you come avec moi? Uh, <laughs> dude, if dude, you know what would be the dream? We should have we, we should have started this podcast way earlier. That way, when we, we would when we would hit quarantine, Jason Statham would have been so bored being at home <laughs> that he would have contacted us and been like, "Hey, I'm gonna read one of the scripts for for TV. <laughs> table read. Pic- I'm gonna table read it, <laughs> but, but but give it the give it the Statham like crank like um." I want I want Statham to read the the script for Measure of a Man and see how he handles that, you know, like all yeah. the gravitas that's required because it's basically like uh like like Twelve Angry Men. No, it's like it, it's it's space, a great piece you know? <laughs> for an actor to take a crack at, and I would be legitimately super interested to see him do it. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it, it is it is a good piece of writing that I would love to see him take a crack at. Oh wow, yeah, and that we can dream. Boys. <laughs> uh what did you think ricardo and dan what did you think of the episode um i i thought it was fine I, it was a little hokey look the episodes are getting interesting uh mm-hmm. not better but just more interesting that's for now. true mm-hmm. yeah i mean okay this oh, just to point out this episode was directed by rob bowman again and yeah, yeah. he pointed out that he kind of didn't like this episode because it was so talky mm, because yeah. he's because he's a classic film director he says like whole point of movies is to show not tell but this episode like you didn't even see him drink a serum he just no, gets no. better at one point and yeah, just that's goes true. so it's like there's a lot of like just explaining what happened through exposition which is like can be fine depending on what you're doing but in a show especially like star trek where the whole point is to see the spectacle of what happened it's a uh, hmm. it's a little weird but i kind of wish you, know. you hadn't mentioned 12 angry men because i keep it keeps coming to mind is like well that's a good example <laughs> nothing but talking carrying an entire movie but well that's the because that's the point of the construction of that movie and uh, same for measure of a man it's all talking yeah so is so it you know but this type of episode wasn't you know it wasn't really about the talking it was more about you know the character development which could have been more visual but eh it's fine yeah the, pl- the plot's kind of the- shaky under scrutiny yeah it's not the it's not the worst thing in the world but it's better than some of the other episodes that have come up before it mm-hmm. you know? so yeah wait did ricardo anyway, give a rating i don't think he um did. i didn't i i say um um i would give it uh oh boy <laughs> um a s- seven and a half okay okay how about you dan i was in that area too but uh i'll modify it to seven point two <laughs> why not i like that why not all right all right I'll, I'll give it like an eight i think it's it's a nice weird idea uh i think some of the execution's a bit shaky um you can tell why you can t- you can feel the rewrite yeah especially in that last scene where everyone's suddenly sentimental and you're like it's weird <laughs> why is it <laughs> yeah Cardass is, is suddenly- a very like weird <laughs> character his motivations are kind of hard to <laughs> discern the only person who should be like sentimental in that scene is his wife yeah you know and she and does karnas should She's very good at karnas that. should really have a shit eating grin on his face and go <laughs> yeah glad dude. this motherfucker yeah, basically dead. it's like yeah eat shit. <laughs> you thought you're gonna hope, get younger and live longer moments, guess what yeah. happened instead yeah i hope your last moments were in agony just like the last 45 years of our planet yeah you know, or some shit like yeah, that you could have you could have gone all like villain on that or antagonistic yeah, at least know. Also, uh, a fun an- uh, little factoid that you know that wheelchair that never moves because it's too big to move around. Mm-hmm. It was ten thousand dollars. Jesus fuck! <laughs> uh, no wonder they reused it for X Men. <laughs> it was one of the huge failures of the show, uh, <laughs> where uh, Rob Bowman was like, "They spend ten thousand dollars on this motherfucking chair 
and it was so stupid we couldn't even move around with it <laughs> so we ended up just having to put it in a single spot per per setup and just ha- work around that <laughs> like okay uh we need to get this character to do something um just just get yeah. out of the chair stand up and walk yeah so they were they were like we'll just never do this again it was a waste it would of be hilarious if it turned out that the whole reason why he was de-aging in the first place is so he had an excuse to get out of the chair <laughs> because they couldn't and move out the of that chair. makeup <laughs> yeah and also just to get rid of that his, that makeup's terrible we need a good reason for him to get out of this fucking makeup <laughs> uh all that being said i'd give it like a i don't know seven and a half and eight you know interesting but flawed so Anyway, the next episode of TNG is going to be When the Bow Breaks, uh, which is um, kind of, I don't remember this one either. I think it's Wesley centric. Hmm. I think it's, mm, I think I roughly remember. There's like a. Yeah, it seems Wesley centric to me. Okay, okay. So anyway. This has been Doobie Star Trek, everybody. If you've been liking the podcast so far, you can find more episodes at NewbieStarTrek.com. That's N-E-W-B-I-E Star Trek.com. And you can also find Newbie Star Trek uh, wherever you listen to podcasts. So like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Uh, We're hosted by Podbean. So it's on Podbean, but that's kind of unwieldy to use. So don't worry about that. Just use it wherever you want. Stitcher. Some people listen to it on iHeart. Yeah, Stitcher. Some people listening on iHeartRadio. I didn't realize that was such a popular medium for listening to podcasts. Kudos to you, Warriors. Yeah, uh, Podcast Addict. I personally use Podcast Addict a lot. So, um, you know, that's that's fun. But And if you've been liking the podcast, if you could, like, give us a rating, uh, either on Apple Podcasts or, as it turns out, Podcast Addict has ratings. I didn't know that. So separate, if you wanted to. Really? Separately? Yeah, yeah, it's it's separate. You can actually rate it per episode, Dang. depending on how you feel. Um, but you can you know, find it, me on Twitter at Gossip Girl. Nah, <laughs> get it. <laughs> uh, uh, sick burn but, on me, dude. <laughs> but yeah, if you just feel like it, it's not a huge deal, whatever. Um, just, just the most we can ask of you is just listen. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. To the podcast. Does newbie Star Trek have a Twitter account? <laughs> Uh, know, we do we? technically at newbie star trek okay um so if you want to if you wanted to go there that's we t- we have a, a twitter we have a facebook guys we have a, a tiktok and we, an we're everywhere we're everywhere dude <laughs> yeah if you search for the name you'll f- you'll see yeah. us you'll f- you'll we're, we're, we're worldwide hey guys seriously oh dude. seriously also i have to well, go ahead go ahead you no, go we'll first, completely, please, no, please. No, you go finish. first. I feel like you're you're going to do something serious. No, no, it's not serious at all. Please. Okay. Please uh, I I have something serious to say. Is hey, if you like the idea as much as I do of a Statham movie that where he plays a young Picard, let's put it out there, guys. Let's <laughs> let's start this 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 Twitter thing. I don't know how things get started. Please sign our but I know they get started change. somewhere. Org. <laughs> yes, change.org. Somebody go to change.org and petition. I will back it up. I will be your champion. I will I could I could help write it. I could do whatever you guys want. You want me to light it? I'll fucking light it. Whatever you need me to do, I'll, I'll be Wait, there. Where's that like White House um, petition thing where it's like if if you get enough people to <laughs> respond to it or sign they up? They stopped doing that since Trump took over. That was only Obama. So I don't think like too many people anymore. want fucking Trans Am Trans Am to, to make a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> so many fucking rednecks were like bring back the fucking 71 trains am <laughs> <laughs> they're like but like new like like a like a retro no just bring it back um, how? i don't how? understand <laughs> <laughs> just start making it again but the fact but, that but, it's vintage yeah. is the whole point <laughs> but pontiac but pontiac closed down we don't care bring it back <laughs> um, we don't want any of those pussy cars even um, if we brought it back it wouldn't be this the class and it's not a classic anymore if you bring it back it stops being classic it's a problem oh god <laughs> uh but anyway let's make it happen let's make steven come back let's I mean, bring him back he's a transporter but in space I mean, if speaking of Statham, uh, you can also find the podcast at newbiestatham.com. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I have I have bought the domain. <laughs> so, if you go to newbiestatham.com, that's my favorite way of, of getting the podcast um, <laughs> by far. Go there; it's it's the best uh, way. If you want to support us, you want to support Statham's career. Uh, <laughs> 
go there, This man. directly supports Statham's yeah. career. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Get out there. Go vote. Go vote for Statham. <laughs> go, vote. <laughs> go vote for Statham. Yeah. Uh, ineligible for any sort of. <laughs> I mean, it, no, it's no, too no, late no, for no. Georgia to vote for Statham, but. <laughs> Dude, how cool would it be if in 2000, whatever the next election is, the, all the write ins are like fucking. They're like, dude, we can't elect the president. Statham got too many goddamn votes. Yeah, we can't. We can't. It's it's overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, but then it, it'll spoken. fail because there's an uncoordinated uh, an uncoordinated effort. Some people put in Statham, the others put in Statham as Picard. And some people put in Hemsworth brother as Statham <laughs> as Picard. And some people and some people and some people are very stupid and they just put crank. <laughs> <laughs> and some people put in transporter. <laughs> yeah. God damn. It. And, then, oh, and no. then like three people put electrolytes for some reason. <laughs> Don't blame me. I the voted for Craig. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, fuck. Oh right, no. Okay. Sta- Jason Statham is taking over everything. <laughs> okay. Also, we have another podcast. Well, it's called Go. the film podcast. If you want to hear more Statham <laughs> talk, well, you know what? Just because the people demand it, uh, we're going to do a Statham episode where we're going to cover the best of Statham's movie. <laughs> it's going to be an ongoing series. Uh, but for now, uh, I've we we're going to do two new episodes per month. I, one I had a, I had done a Christmas episode. It was on there for a day or two, and then uh, I got flagged because I used Last Christmas by Wham. Uh, so I have to I have to edit that out, and then I will put that back up. But basically, we talked about. Um, like shitty cheesy fucking Christmas movies the ones that you don't want to watch but you watch because they're so cringy mm-hmm. um, th- we talked about those and and um, they serve a, their purpose they, it, they're a good drinking game if you're if you're like cooking at home during the holidays and or you're during quarantine and you want something stupid to watch especially fun to watch Christmas movies when it's not Christmas so um, mm-hmm. actually I have a friend uh, who was on the podcast Savannah she's actually con- she's still g- on that train she's still watching all the shitty movies <laughs> wow she's, a, she's she is dedicated yeah, she's committed she's committed she's ready yeah. she's getting ready for next next year's podcast <laughs> uh, but yeah check that out yeah. we, we got a bunch of new episodes coming up uh, two per month uh, they're just really daunting to edit so two per month yeah and um that's what we're doing guys yeah keep the train Th- going that's... keep save them alive keep your <laughs> thoughts we gotta that's, get them back yeah, out there that's get the fugitive back. yeah that's the fugitive frames film yeah. podcast at fugitive frames yeah. dot com hey that's if you're an artist out there and you you like what we're doing and you're like you know what i don't want to rate the thing it's too much work how about you you draw a beautiful statham <laughs> in the the starfleet uniform like as picard yeah, this is much and less. Send it work. to us. We'll, 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 we're gonna. We're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We'll, we'll, we'll frame it. Well, it's gonna be a beautiful painting. Uh, I. I imagine <laughs> it being a huge like poster sized painting on oil <laughs> canvas. Um, you know, you do you. You do you. I'm not gonna tell you how to paint it. You do you. Well, to be fair, given if you're on a PC, the way iTunes functions on a PC, it might legitimately be easier to draw a painting. <laughs> <laughs> See? To navigate See? fucking iTunes on a PC. There you go. There so, you go. Yeah. Burn. Also, also, we have a channel, Fugitive Games, which you can find at www.fugitive.games, uh, or just search for YouTube Fugitive Games, which is just a Let's Play channel. We just do Let's Plays. We're doing streams of shit here and there. You know, sometimes we're doing like reviews and discussions and blah blah blah. It's a fun time. If you like our bullshit. And you'd like our bullshit combined with games? Yeah, where we tend to, to talk a little more about games, but still Just full a of little bullshit. more. <laughs> Don't worry. It's a little less Statham because the Statham Ricardo is the Statham factor. It's true. So, thing true. Is is I we recorded something and I don't think it's going to see the light of day, but it's got to because we invested too much time. I got really angry. It was very upsetting, <laughs> and I wanted I wanted out there. I wanted out there so people could see how upset. Which I, one is I that? Get. I don't know. Whatever. It was a beginner's guide game. Yeah, I was. Oh. I was. I was. I was ready to find Stanley and kick his ass, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure that that one's gonna release, but that was pretty funny. Where, <laughs> where Ricardo was just telling. He got so mad at, da- at Davy Reedon that yeah. he was. <laughs> I, I, I was hoping he'd kill himself. I was like, this guy. If this guy didn't kill himself, he'd be so fucking pissed. <laughs> yeah, we, we had some. Oh, we had no. some sobering realizations in that playthrough. 
Yeah. You know what, w- though? It was like a fever dream. It literally was like a fever dream. Uh, I, 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 maybe I was a little too high. And I, it was just fucking, it, it turned, it turned on me. I get like, so fucking angry. <laughs> I was like, this guy's telling me lies. This is, this guy, he, he's not his friend. He's a stalker and he stole all his fucking games. <laughs> I mean, he's, you, you're not uh, wrong. Yeah. 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 That, that's the plot. Yeah. So, spoilers for the beginner's guy. <laughs> Uh, but it's fine. Uh, anyway, that that was uh, that was our podcast, everyone. Uh, next episode, when the bow breaks, I guess it's Wesley centric. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah. But in the meantime, everybody, thanks for listening. Stay safe. It's still rough out there, especially if you're in LA. Like it's pretty pretty fucking rough. But if you're uh, in other parts of the world, hey, congratulations! You guys aren't pieces of shit. Yeah, good job. Good job. So, you know, Korea, Taiwan, f- yeah. New Zealand, man, New you Zealand. You guys out there living your best shit. lives, surfing, God, rock Australia, Zealand. all the fucking Hauser <laughs> brothers out there with no mask, fucking loving up on women. Yeah, they're they're <laughs> like, oh, what what sort of idiots would not have quarantined and put not put on masks? That makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> All 35 Helmsler brothers out there fucking <laughs> surfing. Uh, all right. Good night, everyone. Bye. Oi. Fuck you, mate. <laughs> just, just, just randomly. <laughs>